Hello, my love. Welcome in. Um, I am being called to do something that I am hardly ever called to do, and that is actually a twin flame reading. Um, if you've been in any kind of tarot circle, spirituality circle, twin flame is a very hot topic. Um, and just very quickly, like twin flame is basically a person that is somebody that you're your soul and their soul they are tied and connected together the purpose of the twin flame the connection of the twin flame is to help you evolve um but it can be incredibly painful and traumatic even um because there are there's a lot of love that exists between the two souls um the whole point of it is to help you see the trauma and the healing that needs to happen within yourself. So this is how you know if you're in a twin flame uh, journey, is that typically you are with uh, your partner and they make you feel whole. There is a wholeness that comes with the connection. And what happens is, you know, things are going very well until things are not. And then you, you're ripped away from your twin flame and then you feel this emptiness. What that is supposed to do, it's supposed to expose the areas in which um, you have healing to do. That's the whole point of it. But we are going to check in with this twin flame connection that I'm being guided to check into. And, um, you know, maybe this will resonate with you. Maybe it won't. But regardless, I'm very glad that you're here with me right now in this moment. Okay, Source God Energy, please deliver the messages. I call on Archangel Michael with your shield and your sword. Please guard and protect this space. Transmute all energy to love and light. All right, Spirit, what is going on with this twin flame connection, this twin flame journey? We have the chariot. Lots of rapid movement. Movement moving forward. Lots of movement moving forward. I feel like, okay, this is going to sound weird, but I feel like they could drive a white or black car. I'm getting black. We have the three of pentacles in reverse here. There is another person in the situation and... Let's see what else it says. It's a three part. It's a third party situation. The seven of cups here, and there's one choice. There's an there's an appropriate choice here, with the ace of wands. This is telling me that there hasn't been any cheating. It's a third party situation, but there hasn't been any physical cheating. There is a wanting to start anew, start fresh, go in a new direction. Seeing the opportunity of knowing the Ace of Pentacles now here too. There is there's the knowing that this is a new abundant beginning. I feel like you've known this person for a long time, but this is a new development because the Ace of Wands coming out one right after another, this is a completely new development. And it's, I feel like it's in front of you, like in your face, like the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, just complete abundance in this connection. Complete abundance. But there is a third party situation here. So I feel like somebody is needing to make a choice. They know what the choice is. They know what the option is. But they're needing to make the choice. And they know that it, it's the ball is in their court. And they know that it'll be very abundant. And they'll be walking towards generational wealth. That's very powerful. It's very powerful. We have the Emperor in reverse. So now we have a uh, the Divine Masculine here and underneath the Seven of Cups. So that's telling me that they are, while they see the one option, they're still very confused in it. 
I feel like this feels very heavy. And then we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Now the Divine Feminine has entered. Um, I, okay, what I'm getting is that the Divine Feminine also knows the option, sees, can actually see everything very well. Um, oh, wow. Um, judgment in reverse. The, the Emperor here, the Divine Masculine, feels in the wrong. We're going to put that there. That was clarified by Spirit. They feel completely like in disarray. The fact that this is an emperor coming out and not like a knight or even a king tells me that this emperor is a person of very high morals and very high values. This is a very wise and mature person. And they see the option. They know what the choice is. They, they know the path. They can see it. But because of their very, very high morals and values, because of their integrity, um, they're, not, they're not stepping into the decision to act on anything. The Queen of Cups, it's actually in the hands of the Queen of Cups because we have the Ace of Wands above the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Queen of Cups is just like confused. The Two of Pentacles here balance uh, the chariot the ace of pentacles and now the two of pentacles this is gonna like this rapid motion is going towards like so spirit this is what spirit is wanting spirit is saying hey we can move towards this new abundant beginning and it will it will provide balance that's amazing Okay, I'm getting earth and water placements here. The king of swords in reverse. Somebody isn't speaking their truth here. The three of pentacles, the ten of pentacles, the three of pentacles in reverse, excuse me, the ten of pentacles, and then the, the king of swords in reverse. Somebody is not speaking their truth, and somebody's withholding. Um, if the person, whoever this third person is, who's withholding their truth, they're the ones that, that are going to end up hurt because they're not saying what they want. They're not saying how they feel. Okay. The star. This fell on top of both the emperor and the queen of cups. And it's the star. There is, I pay attention to the way the cards fall as well. And there is a lot of beauty and hope here for this Emperor and this Queen of Cups. They're also telling me one seven is eight. And so there's like, it, it's like infinite balance. Do you see the balance there? The figure eight there, the balance. But this King of Swords, I feel like is the one standing in the way, this King of Swords in reverse, whoever isn't speaking their truth, whatever energy that is. And then we have the King of Cups on top of the Queen of Cups, and then the Ace of Pen or sorry, the Ace of Wands here falling on top. This is the counterpart. This is the counterpart. This is 100 percent a twin flame. These, this Queen of Cups and this King of Cups are 
are meant to come into union and they're meant to balance each other in a very nurturing grounded but also this flowing way like i see a lot of water so i feel like it's um it's gonna flow like i feel like the two of you just get stronger together I feel like it's going to begin. At some point, it's going to begin. If it hasn't begun already, well, it hasn't because the emperor just refuses. This divine masculine refuses because of whatever this king of swords energy in reverse, this third party energy, they're not speaking their truth. There's like somebody here that's not speaking their truth, not being completely honest. <laughs> somebody's not being completely honest in this situation and i feel like they're not being completely honest with themselves i think that's what it is i feel like somebody isn't being completely honest with themselves it's in the stars i'm hearing it's in the stars temperance the temperance card yeah it just flows like i feel like you the i feel like the divine masculine and the divine feminine are have like a really beautiful routine very rooted in spirituality especially with temperance and the star coming out in the same reading i feel like there is there is a balance here of like both of you individually being able to be in your own spiritual routine, in your own spirituality, in your own practice, and coming together to converse. There's a balance there. Like, this balance is just beautiful. Look at that balance. It's just, this is beautiful. It's so abundant. I feel like the two of you will, will, will be able to come into a place of this, this union will empower the both of you will validate the both of you okay there's there's telling me to ask um will they come into union i need this deck for that will they come into union will they come into union spirit will they come into union no and it's going to lead to a lot of regret they will not come into union because of this per third party situation and the divine masculine their morals and their values yeah this is going to lead to an immense amount of grief and loss this is going to lead to the feeling of failure Gosh, like my heart goes out to you. That's really tough. Because this this beautiful union is I mean it's really it's so beautiful. I'm gonna keep going with this reading. I'm gonna get these last three cards. Um what else here in this union spirit? Indecision, the king of wands. Yeah, it's just one, two, three. I have three kings here and the emperor. And the divine the divine masculine i feel like is going through it the most i feel like the ball is completely in the divine masculine's court i mean i feel like it's both of them honestly like because i could i said that about the queen of cups as well but i also i i just really feel like the divine masculine is going through it so much like i feel like there's so much um outside pressure for this king of wands and they want to they want to come into union with their twin flame with their person and and they just they never will unfortunately they never will let's see what else is here spirit what else is here we have the nine of cups i mean sorry the nine of wands an indecision as well. I'm hearing the friendship will remain. There is a friendship that will remain because 
of the vulnerability that exists between the divine masculine and the divine feminine. There is a balance here. Um, it's always going to be kind of like walking on eggshells because of the chemistry and the bond and the tie like that exists between these two people. Um, there's always going to be a wondering. There's always going to be a longing. There's always going to be um, this hope. But there's with this nine of wands, what else? I'm, the other thing I'm getting is like, you're always going to look forward to seeing them because of the um, the wholeness that you feel with each other. But really what it is, is you need to do the work to feel whole by yourself. Everything exists inside of you. The answer is always choosing yourself. However, the pain that always is going to exist in this union is always going to be there. Every time you see them, it's going to feel great. And then every time you leave them, it's going to hurt. Um, the friendship I am getting is important. It is, in fact, important because the two of you mirror to each other. You will continue to reflect back and forth to each other. the feelings, the energy, the the things that you need to work on, the things that they need to work on, the amount of vulnerability that they are unable to have outside of being with you. They need to be able to have that vulnerability all the time. That needs to exist all the time. So that way they can come into their highest possible timeline. Does that make sense? I hope it does. I'm not gonna lie, this reading is really hard to deliver. We have the four of wands in reverse. And it's the feeling of knowing where home is and never being home. I feel like the option is always going to be on the table for these two. And I feel like the spiritual, emotional maturity that exists in the two of them will allow them to grow and evolve in this lifetime. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Have gratitude for meeting this person, for knowing this person, for allowing this person to show you yourself. Had you not met this person, I don't think that she would be able to come into balance. Because even though you're not ever going to physically be coming into union with this person, there is an emotional and spiritual union here happening. It's already happened. I'm going to ask another question. Um, do these, this uh, twin flame spirit, is this a past life connection? Yes. 100%. And both of you are known publicly, have been known publicly in the past and are known publicly now. Um, is this, this current connection, is, are they balancing the karmic scales by following this path? Possibly. <laughs> 
possibly the hangman in reverse. Is it suggested is it suggested that they come into physical union spirit? Is it suggested that they come into physical union? Yes it is. Yes it is suggested that they come into physical union. Is it suggested that they come into physical union in this lifetime? Oh gosh, that fall. No, that's the five of swords. Let me grab that. Sorry. That's the five of swords. It is not suggested that they come into union in this lifetime. So will they come back and live another lifetime after this? Yes. The judgment card. Remember when that came out earlier to clarify the seven of cups in reverse? It is suggested that they will come into union in the next lifetime. They will come into union in the next lifetime. So this lifetime, you're balancing your karmic scales. It's totally fine. Remember that this lifetime isn't all there is. Okay? This isn't everything. This isn't all there is. So be strong. Be vigilant. Learn the lessons you need to learn. Go into your highest possible timeline in this lifetime. Learn how to be vulnerable all the time and not just with this person. You need to balance the divine masculine and feminine within yourself. I don't know how the two of you come and know have come to know each other, but this is an important connection. We also, just, just to remind you, we do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here. It is important, but it isn't everything. What is the most important thing is the relationship that you have with yourself, being completely transparent and vulnerable with yourself. So that way, there is balance. The balance is like the most important within, within yourself. And that is doing the healing. That's the healing that you need to do, my love. Remember that you come into this world to love and forgive and to become a master manipulator. There's three things, love, forgiveness, master manipulator of energy, okay? Using love, not fear. I hope this helps you. I love you.